Now, Tim, in this movie, you kind of play a controlling husband manager, a mm -hmm. little bit of a different role from the blind side, the last yeah, one like you were in. Yeah, like sort of a, a 360 or a 180 from, a 180, I guess. I'm a country singer, so yeah. I, can't, I don't know degrees. <laughs> or, but a 180 from, from uh, Sean Tui in the blind side, which was great for me. I get to do a different character. Yeah. So, ever think about being a manager someday? Maybe no. Manage, you manage your wife? Would manage you? my wife? Yeah. That's completely <laughs> out of the question. I wouldn't do that in a million years. Would you, you be kidding? a good manager? Uh, no. I know. I'm not organized enough to be a, a good manager. I like... I mean, I like making decisions. I like being involved and been very heavily involved in decisions in my career, sort of. But um, I like having somebody that I can ultimately hold hold responsible. <laughs> so we got a country movie, and we would think that we would have a lot of you on the soundtrack, but you're not on the soundtrack. Well, the the last song in the, the movie. last song in yeah. the movie you do. Yeah, Gwyneth and I do a duet. I, I, that was important to me. To, if I was going to be in a movie a, about what I do it for a living, it was important to me not to sing. Especially for not that I wouldn't ever play a character that sang in, in a movie. I would if if it was the right thing. But for me, it was it was important to, and I thought it really set the movie up better if I didn't sing. Any chance that maybe Gwyneth will be opening for you for? Uh... You know, tour next you year. You never know. I mean, she, she's more than welcome to if she wants to. So now you got a busy uh, year coming up. You're obviously going to be doing another movie you'd set in South Africa. In South Africa, yeah, starting in March, I think, yeah. So what about touring? Touring, yeah. Touring's going to sort of April or May. It depends on how long the movie runs that we're doing next. Um, but we'll be out there with big tours, you know, 50, 60 shows. Oh, you, you're still going to try to get it all in? Yeah, we're going to do the same, you know, same thing, a big tour. And uh, now you get to relax a little bit for the uh, holidays, get to spend time with the girls? Through the holidays, I'll relax a bit. still have a little bit of work to do when the movie comes out or first week of January. But uh, And then, you know, everything kicks back in. But, yeah, through the holidays, we're just going to sort of relax and wear sweats. and I'm Christmas watch in football. Tennessee? Christmas in Tennessee, absolutely. And, and uh, just what? All, all, you'll watch all bowl games then? I'll watch all the bowl, <laughs> bowl games. I won't, won't miss those. What do the girls want for Christmas? You know, just like every kid, you know, the iPads are popular right now, so they, they're interested in that. And clothes, you know, I got teenage girl, well, one teenage girl and one 12-year-old and one 9-year-old, but, you know, it's the typical stuff that any young girl wants. Does she steal mom's clothes sometimes? Oh, yeah, <laughs> the, the oldest one especially. Yeah. They're always in mom's, she's always in mom's closet. And, uh, of course, obviously for the holidays, your cologne makes a great stocking stuffer. Great, mine and face, <laughs> load up on the colognes, That's absolutely. Well, the movie's great, and uh, I really enjoyed the singing and so forth. And, and you really, you, your, your roles always change, and uh, I think you're a great actor, and I look forward to your, uh, your next film. Thanks, man. Good to see you.